Some people might be offended if they're called a CAD, but not David Torek. David is a CAD designer and proud of it. CAD means unskilled, but in this case it stands for computer-aided drafting, and David is very skilled. Periodically they'll need drawings for something or they're going to want to change something that they have a better idea on how to make it or how to fabricate it, so then we want to document it so that we have it next time. So um, I work with the guys in the shop a lot. Here at the Stoltz Manufacturing Shop in Berks County, they make fertilizer and lime spreaders for agriculture and cement spreaders for construction, especially road building. David Torek was hired through CareerLink's on-the-job training program, which uses federal funding to subsidize a portion of the training cost. Company president Bernard Hirschberger says it's a worthwhile program. The amount of paperwork involved is very minimal, and um, anything um, that we can get for a small business helps us out, be more competitive in the marketplace. And I was really impressed with how um, responsive our rep at the um, CareerLink was and it was really very little effort on my part to get the whole um, ball rolling. CareerLink has a good record of finding jobs for out-of-work people or those who want to change careers. And what kind of positions do you look for? Healthcare positions today? Christina Harrell says the on-the-job training program is a good option for both workers and employers. Currently right now we have 21 companies that have hired about 42 individuals and have saved about $161,000. Um, in training those individuals. Do you find that this helps small businesses um, more so than large businesses or is it about, you know, equal? Senator Judy Schwank says the OJT program is really needed in tough economic times. We know that there are a number of people that have been out of work for a long time and they need specific help, maybe a little more of a hand up than some other folks do in trying to find work. This program is tailored to their needs. It's a win-win for people who need jobs as well as for our businesses. And for Stoltz Manufacturing, which had never used CareerLink before, it's a program they'll probably use again. Yeah, we're hoping to hire a couple more employees um, in the near future and uh, hopefully we'll continue to grow um, going forward. So yeah, we definitely plan to use CareerLink more in the future. And for 57-year-old David Torek, who turned to CareerLink to upgrade his skills in drafting, the future is bright. Here I'm the CAD designer. Um, um, other places I was one of two or three or five or ten. And uh, so the chances of me being laid off here are a lot less as long as I can do my job, of course. And, but uh, yeah, I have, like, the, the, like Bernie said when I interviewed, you'll have many hats here when you work here. So I'm learning a lot of things. CareerLink's Nick Shirk says OJT is even more successful when job seekers like David Torek market themselves and the program. So when we first get into a company and we market OJT, uh, you know, they ask us, well, do you have anyone that would fit this type of position that could go right into an OJT position? Uh, and what we do is we go through the packets, see if we have anyone that's potentially a match for them. Uh, if so, we'll send those resumes over immediately. We also have little business cards that they can give the employer. That way then it makes the employer aware, wait a minute, this, this gentleman or this um, um, woman would also like, would like this position, but they don't have exactly the, the right skills for this position. However, with this incentive, we can go ahead and train them and um, provide them. With, with a stable job. They truly have a track record of helping people find work. And you can see when you're in a place um, uh, like the Burke's Career Link, how busy it is that people are accessing these services. And David Torek is proof positive the program works. Thanks to Career Link's on the job training program, David Torek has a brand new job and Stoltz Manufacturing has an employee it can count on to help with its future growth. In Burke's County, I'm Howard Ondick reporting.